Welcome to NetBeans IDE 7.1. NetBeans IDE is an integrated development environment that helps you create, debug, and maintain desktop, web, and mobile applications. The IDE provides first-class support for Java developers and also includes smart tools for PHP and C++ programmers. The IDE is extensible, open source, and free, and runs on today's standard operating systems. Many templates and samples are included to get you started quickly with many different technologies. In this screencast, you'll be introduced to the new features available in NetBeans IDE 7.1. NetBeans IDE 7.1 is the first IDE to help you develop applications with Java FX 2.0. The IDE provides templates to get you started with creating Java FX 2.0 applications, and you can use the NetBeans debugger and profiler to analyze and fix problems in your code. To get started, you must download and install the Java FX 2.0 SDK, which is available from the Java FX website. Now, let's see how to set up NetBeans IDE 7.1 to use JavaFX 2.0. At first, when you look in the IDE's Java Platform Manager, you will not see the JavaFX platform included. To enable support, simply create a new JavaFX application, and the IDE will automatically find the JavaFX platform in the default location where you installed it. No further configuration is needed. When you look in the Java Platform Manager again, you can see that the IDE has now registered the JavaFX platform for you. The IDE will then use the new platform for compilation, running, and debugging. You can now run your JavaFX application in the IDE. Now, let's look at the different ways to deploy a JavaFX application. When you build the JavaFX project, you can see in the Files window that a JAR, an HTML file, and a Web Start file have been created. When you right-click a JavaFX project, the IDE lets you configure the project. You can make compilation settings, select deployment options, such as if a desktop icon should be created. or if the application should be deployed standalone to a browser or via Java Web Start. As you can see, many settings are available to fine-tune your JavaFX project. The IDE also gives you a set of samples to explore when learning about JavaFX. Each sample illustrates specific features of the JavaFX platform and helps you establish coding practices for your own development work. Let's now look at one of the many samples that the IDE provides. The sample shows a jigsaw puzzle broken into pieces and then shows it being reassembled. The IDE's debugger and profiler can both be used to troubleshoot problems with this application. NetBeans IDE 7.1 provides a brand new visual debugger that you can use with JavaFX as well as Swing applications. When you start a debug session, you can click the camera button in the toolbar to take a GUI snapshot. Click within the snapshot and you can browse into your code base. Navigate your component hierarchy in the navigator. Explore the related properties in the properties window or set breakpoints in the application. NetBeans IDE 7.1 has an enhanced and fine-tuned Java editor with many features for quick and efficient editing of Java code. Based on user feedback, the main new features of the NetBeans Java editor are its batch refactoring tool, the rectangular block selector, and the import organizer. There are several other, smaller enhancements as well. The IDE now lets you refactor code across your whole source base in one go. As an example, let's see how easily we can set up and convert projects to use Java 7 language constructs. Click the Inspect and Transform menu item. Notice that you can define refactorings to be applied all in one go on a subset of your code. 
You can select the packages to be included in the refactoring process and specify which refactoring should be used. Now we'll use the Java 7 configuration to identify all instances in your code that can be enhanced using Java 7's Project Coin features. Notice the individual refactorings that will be applied and be aware that you can add any additional refactorings to the configuration. A library of refactorings is available. Choose from the list which refactoring you would like to use. A search function is available, letting you enter keywords related to the refactorings that you're interested in. Once you've made your selection, apply the refactoring to your source base. The IDE shows you the code that has been identified by the refactoring tool, while also showing you the result of the changes, then prompting you to apply them. In this example, you can see that the JDK7 string over switch and multi-catch statements are about to be applied across the source base. Once the refactoring tool has done its work, take a look in your source code and notice that, in this example, the JDK7 string over switch construct is now being used in the code. Upgrading to JDK7 is now as easy as clicking through a few dialog boxes. A very useful new feature is block selection. Click the block selection button and then select a rectangular block of code across different lines of code. For example, let's change multiple fields to have a private modifier. Click the button or press Ctrl Shift R. Select the modifiers and change all simultaneously to private. Similarly, you can change types across multiple lines. Another new feature is the ability to set rules for import statements in Java files. Often the import blocks in Java classes become difficult to maintain and related import statements need to be grouped manually. Now, the IDE gives you a tool to automate this process. In the Options window, define the rules to be applied. Notice that you can immediately apply them via hints in the IDE. You can also use the Inspect and Transform tool to search through multiple applications simultaneously to identify the import sections that do not adhere to your rules. You can then refactor all those instances in one go. NetBeans IDE is always closely aligned with the GlassFish and WebLogic release cycles, providing top-of-the-line support for current Java EE standards. First-class support for great servers such as GlassFish and WebLogic continues in NetBeans IDE 7.1 through new support for additional popular JSF component libraries, among other new features. As you step through the new web application wizard, specify the server you want to use, and then set the JSF component library of choice, which can now also be rich faces and ice faces. If the libraries are not registered in the IDE, tools are provided for doing so from within the wizard. Many other significant enhancements have been introduced into NetBeans IDE 7.1. The IDE's out-of-the-box Maven support is top of the line. Simply open a POM file in the IDE and start coding. The IDE does not add any files to your Maven application because it works directly with your POM. In NetBeans IDE 7.1, there are many small enhancements in this area, improving your Maven coding experience even further. The NetBeans CSS editor now includes several new enhancements for CSS3, including new syntax support, code completion, and code navigation. In addition to support for Git now being bundled with the IDE, the new Local History tab in all editor documents lets you easily switch between the source code and the changes made to individual files. The NetBeans PHP's lightweight yet powerful editor now has even smarter code completion, more templates, and improved FTP client support. NetBeans IDE is the tool of choice for developers, providing top-of-the-line support for Java application development, as well as great tools for developing PHP and C++ applications. 
To download NetBeans IDE 7.1, visit the netbeans.org website, where you'll also find tutorials and more screencasts and ways to participate in the NetBeans community.